I'm Jennifer from Open Helix. Welcome to this tip of the week. If you're viewing this movie somewhere other than at our blog, be sure to check out the post at blog.openhelix.com so that you can see the full discussion with links and references. In today's tip, I would like to explore the database of genomic variants. If you are familiar with the original DG the um, resource, you'll recognize this as its home page. Here you can click to a genome browser uh, or look at chromosomes, do a keyword search. This original version of the DGV is available. Uh, Open Helix has a tutorial on it. But what I want to show you today is the beta version of the updated um, database of genomic variants. In my post, I listed a reference that explains the um, full scope of the changes. As you can see, just from scrolling through the home page, uh, the DGV update looks very different. Currently, this updated DGV is a beta version, so they are still uh, welcoming comments and um, it's not 100% stable. We have some of the same things that we saw in the original DGV, such as a quick search, a link to the genome browser. Um, they also have, uh, you, there are facts here. There's a tutorial on this beta site, so you can get more familiar with some of the changes. Um, they also have these focused queries. Uh, and statistics and a link to um, the announcement of the changes. In this tip, I'm going to click the Query tool and introduce you to that. So, by default, the Query tool opens with one filter uh, for the assembly. And we have some initial results. I'm going to add a um, filter to our query and uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to add gender and use the default female. I can add as many filters as I want by clicking the plus, or I can remove some of my filters with the minus. To run my query, I'm going to click the filter query button. We'll get this message down here that our query is processing. Very quickly, we'll get results. And when the results load, what you will find is that results are organized according to various um, categories in these top tabs here. By default, we're looking at the Study tab. You can see a variety of information offered about various studies that apply to our query. And each includes a link to the PubMed reference um, that describes the query. From results, you can copy, print, etc. Um, I'm going to click over onto the Variants tab. And again, we're getting this processing message. When our results load, you will see we have a variety of different um, categories of information. The chromosome, start and stop of the variation, as well as a link to the DGV um, report for that variant. I'm going to click that and scroll through it. Here is the variant details report. We see at the top a genome browser display. Scrolling further down, you see a variety of different information um, and links available for this uh, variant. I'm going to click the genomic position link. That will take us over to the DGV um, genome browser. It's still based on GBrowse, um, open source browser, as was the original browser. But now, not only do you get access to the browser, you also have tabs to select the tracks you want to view, uh, or upload custom tracks, or set your preferences. So, there are a lot of really nice changes that are coming with the um, DGV beta site. Check it out make any comments um, so that the DGV is designed the way is most useful for you. Thanks for checking out this tip. See you next time.